Not that we're going to make a particularly big one now, and I guess we could always switch later. But I think the V8 is going to be our pick for this one here. Let's uh, maybe... M pretty large. Um, I'd like to do something maybe around the 3.8 liter mark. I mean, that's going to be kind of a corker, but that's okay. We need, I want to make some power for this bad boy. Let's, uh, let's go for push rods. That should keep it light and compact for an engine of this displacement. Push rods are really nice on V-type engines because you only get one camshaft for two cylinder banks, which is really cool. And it makes the push rod configuration even more attractive than it normally is uh, on V-type engines. We'll just have to pop a couple quality points into it, which we can afford to get the engine to rev somewhat. So let's move right along to that. We're gonna take a cross-plane style V8 um, because I don't think the revability advantage of, uh, well, even if there was a revability advantage in automation right now uh, for flat plane V8s, it wouldn't be meaningful because we have push rods anyway. So that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Cam profile, we'll start with a somewhat aggressive 45, to, uh, 45, and then we'll take the compression down. We'll start with 7.5 and then optimize from there. That should work. Now we have to work with these uh, silly single barrel carbs here in the beginning, because that's all we have. Let's start with a twin carb and see how that does. We'll spring for performance intake, but we'll keep it to regular fuel. We can run it kind of rich though, maybe a 13.8, I, I don't know, that, that should work. Uh, ignition timing, take it down to 40, uh, RPM optimized around 3000, that, that should be pretty good. And then we will be doing well to get 5000 RPM out of this engine, uh, what with those push rods and not pop a quality point in. We'll start with short cast headers, uh, dual exhaust, twin baffled mufflers. I would consider going over to tubular, maybe it'll save a little weight. Eh, actually, that saves quite a bit of weight. Uh, looks like over over 10 pounds that's not bad at all over 20 pounds in fact um, so we'll actually stick with that and then we definitely want some quality in our push rods uh, that actually works pretty well we'll take the rest out of rpm that looks pretty good I'm putting out just shy of 150 horsepower and I think we can probably grab just one more click of compression How's our exhaust tuning looking? Should these be smaller? Probably. Yeah. That's pretty good. Maybe one quality point there. Oh, we're actually somewhat bottlenecked on our, uh, our carburetors. Maybe a triple carb is what we need. Let's try it. Yeah, that gets us over the 150 horsepower mark, and it doesn't add all that much uh, expense. I mean, I guess that is significant, but, you know... Is that worth it though for, what, what is it? Four horsepower? Eh, I think not. I think we stick with the twin cards. Okay, anything else I wanna do here? Maybe just a couple points of quality, make it a little smoother down here. How much production? Oh, that adds quite a bit of production units, so maybe not. Maybe we just live with oh, 57. Eh, 57 smoothness is not too bad. It's no straight six, but it'll get the job done. Okay, with this being our engine, let's go ahead and give it a test, see how it sounds. Sounds really good. It sounds a lot bigger than it is.
sounds. You, know, you wouldn't think that sounds like a 3.8 liter engine. It sounds like a Chevy small block. Let's move right along. Now, we'll start with the coupe body. I do want to make a convertible to try and grab a little slice of some other demographics. Let's morph it a little bit. I want to bring these guys out. going to be works of art, uh, but uh, just to get a little bit of buy-in and have them feel a little bit more real. So let's go ahead. I'm pretty happy with the way that one turned out, though. I'm going to run it up. put a quality point in as well. Power steering, just, uh, well, it's not power steering. There's none, but we'll put a, we'll put a few points of quality into the not power steering because it should be needed. Uh, advanced safety. And let's see how we're looking. Okay, not too far off, just without having done any tuning. Let's hit the normal button to soften.
than 145s or else we're going to run into some pretty serious wheel spin issues. We're having some issues with it as is. Take the spacing down as well. I mean, I could do smaller tires and go for some like ridiculously tall first gear, but as is, the first gear's a 211 to one. It takes it up to 55 miles an hour. Um, and we're struggling with wheel spin. Now you could argue maybe we made it too much power, but uh, I mean, hey, I want, I want this car to be fast. 9.9 .9 seconds, zero to 60. That's, that's pretty quick for back then. Car only weighs 2,500 pounds too. That's not too heavy. All right, what else do we want to do here? We actually don't have problems with brake fade. Oh, let's uh, let's take a peek at this interior. Now oh, they like the luxury better. Do they like the luxury radio? I don't want to do a handmade. I've decided because it's going to reduce the production efficiency down even further. I don't want to do that. Do they like premium or do they like luxury? Well, the luxury adds a lot of expense. Um, but it only nets them an extra like three points in score. I am actually going to keep uh, the premium radio because I think that that's going to be better for our profit margins. So we'll do that, but we'll put an extra point of quality into it, which, whoa, that makes a, a big difference. What about even one more? Even a bigger difference. Wow. I think that's the ticket right there. I don't want to put more than that in, though, because our engineering time is getting up there little by little. Okay, this all looks good. Let's fine-tune the suspension, and then I think our first trim should be uh, almost ready for its design. I want the suspension to be not too firm, but a little bit sportier than what we see here. Maybe about like that. I, I don't know. I find it's usually advantageous to have the the dampers somewhat stiffer than the springs. And this is pretty balanced, leaning ever so slightly towards sportiness. And uh, we'll have to uh, uh, take some uh, take some sway bar, sway bar stiffness out of it. Because we have basically no roll angle. That looks pretty good. Roll angle of six is about what we're looking for. And then uh, I do, I actually think we want to dial We'll see how the score responds, but I'd like to actually have it just a little bit more drivable and a little less sporty than this. So we'll take the rear camber up to, I don't know, 1.5. That looks pretty darn good. And then for good measure, we'll just drop one point of quality into the suspension as well. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Uh, let's have a look at the market scores. Scoring well in GT, GT Premium, and Sport. We'll have to get a better idea of what the scores are after we take it through the whole production and factory setup and everything like that. Uh, but uh, so far, we're looking good. Let's go back. I'm going to do the naming, the design of it, and then I think I'm going to clone it and we'll make a convertible trim real quick just to try and sell a few more models. I'll be right back with you guys in a few minutes. feel a little bit more real so let's go ahead I'm pretty happy with the way that one turned out though I'm gonna run it around the test track real quick and let's see how fast it'll go around really nice weight distribution actually for, uh, for the time Okay, we'll, we'll 
just going to go with it for now because it seems like we have good scores. It's not all that slow, but it's not all that... It's around in a uh, 2 minute 50, which is really uh, not all that fast. It's not all that slow, but it's not all that fast, but it, that's okay. We'll, we'll just... gonna go with it for now because it seems like we have good scores. 